It is a population that has been decreasing over the last five years, yet close to 2000 people in Nashville are still experiencing homelessness. Is that number accurate, though? News Channel 5's Araceli Crescencio spoke to one woman who says the city's estimate is way off. On any given day, you can find Vicki Batcher writing and blogging. The story she shares is personal. It details the life of a homeless family living in Music City. And I thought my lived experience could help somebody else, could help maybe finally end this thing, you know, because we can end homelessness. We know how to do it. Batcher now dedicates her life to helping others in a similar situation. We had lived off and on eviction after eviction after eviction because I only had one paycheck coming in and then it became the streets for about seven years. She's skeptical when it comes to believing there's only roughly 2,000 people who are homeless in Nashville, as the city's annual point in time count suggests. They didn't contact us when we were living in the back of a church, so there are people out there who are missed. Um, I think adding 500 to 1,000 to that count is more accurate. The count does have limitations, and it's something the city also acknowledges. Still, she thinks there has been progress, but would like to see the point in time count happen more than once a year to reflect a truer picture of homelessness in the city. I do think they're doing a great job. Um, but we need to make up for lost time. Since 2017, annual counts show a downward trend in homelessness. Metro Social Services says this is a result of federal funding, increased collaboration with community partners, and more housing support for those most vulnerable. Affordable housing has made it so that I can pay my rent every single month, on time and in full. It's awesome. Um, and to be able to do that for the first time in almost my adult life, it's great. Batcher says she hopes her story encourages those going through a hard time to keep fighting. In Nashville, Araceli Crescencio. Thank you, sir. News Channel 5.